So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is the Ryan here. Hey everyone, Razbowski here. What's going on guys? Dorko here. And welcome back to once again another episode of Theory Thursday. And in this one, we're going to be discussing the events that have been going on over the past two weeks because it's absolutely been crazy to say the least. Yes, now, as we all know, the previous teaser on Scott Games was actually thanks for playing the end with a little question mark at the end. Mm, yes. And now this teaser we have is almost like a... It just feels like, I don't know, that, that wasn't relevant at all. Like, yeah. this is the end. Thank you. See you later. Yeah, kind of thing. It, it feels like there's, know, a, there's a lot of mixed messages yeah, at the minute. Because yeah. with, the, with the lockbox, I think everyone's going crazy over that. They were trying yeah, to figure it out for exactly. so much time. And it's it just seems almost crazy that this series would end with some of these things left. Especially with the text as well. It says for now. It doesn't say forever. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So it, it is making you think a lot of things in regards to what's going on with this series, really. Because... You know, I think I think when we see this, everyone's going to assume this means it's the end of the franchise mm -hmm. completely. I, Definitely. I, I, I don't think so. I don't think it's the end because, as you said, there's, there's so many things he's teased over the last couple of days yeah. that just it wouldn't make sense that this is the end. I, th yeah. I think it's simply just a thank you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've said it before, he's, he's got a lot of unnecessary hate towards him recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. obviously the um, heartfelt story he posted on the on the yeah. screen page as well yes, last yes. week as well which was yeah. incredible i think he's just thanking people for the support yeah over, yeah. over the last year because his life's completely changed from say mm -hmm. two years ago Absolutely. so i I, I think it's simply just uh, just a thank you and just like he's, he's proudly displaying his work yeah. for everybody to yes. see even the, the, the animatronics don't even look scary anymore they literally yeah, yeah. look like they're smiling <laughs> at, at the, yeah, at yeah. the end of a pantomime or something everybody comes on yeah. stage and they're like yes yes Takes a bow. Thanks for yeah. watching. <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, when, yeah. when you look at this as well, you really do kind of applaud the fact of mm. how many characters Scott's designed in a year. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a lot of work. Crazy. Like, modeling isn't easy, especially with all mm -hmm. the other steps. And it looks like he does most of this on his own, if not all of it. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it just makes you appreciate how much effort's really gone into this series and a year's worth of work. This is only the characters, let alone all mm -hmm. of those establishments as well. Yeah, you can you can see the improvements of his modeling as yeah. well. Like, yeah, I thought how that amazing. Too, yeah. Uh, from FNAF 1 to FNAF 4, it's yeah. it's really nice to see the changes in how he's thought about designing these animatronics. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's um, I think it's, it's meaning a lot of things, though, to other people Yeah. Um, with the new season image. I think a lot of people, when they see this, as I've said before, it's very easy to assume um, it's kind of the end. So for you guys, then, it seems like the general gist is that this doesn't mean it's the end. It's just really a yeah. kind of heartfelt thank you from Scott yeah. to everyone who supported the series throughout. Yeah. Now, I think as a lot of people have seen this image, we're really asking what is going to be happening next because with all these guys kind of mishmashed together, it seems like there's something new on the horizon for Scott Cawthon's mm. development. Mm. And it really is making me personally think what is coming up next. So guys, what do you actually think is going to be happening next with the whole the franchise of Five Nights at Freddy's and also what Scott Cawthon is actually planning to do? Well, it just makes you think because he... <sighs> He obviously was meant to release the game on August the 8th, yes. and uh, he did say Halloween will be DLC or something like that, yeah. but now we know that it's nothing to do with Five Nights at Freddy's, and I personally believe that maybe he's going to make something for his fans, maybe like a game dedicated towards his fans, thanking okay. them for everything, in maybe like a horror kind of way, maybe, mm. I don't know. Mm. I think that he's going to make a game or something for us that will, I don't know, make us feel appreciated almost, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, yeah. it's like a thank you sort of thing, because I mean, he said it was going to be a free content, and I don't think yes. he'll go back on his word over that. Yeah. Because he originally referred to it as three, free DLC, and he was going to keep the date special. So mm -hmm. there's, yeah. there's quite a few things, like you mentioned earlier on. We've got the, the Deep Nine message in the, in, the, in the box at end of Night 7. That's not been mm -hmm. answered. We don't really yeah. know who Nightmare is. He's just there, and is he going to be significant yeah. in some sort of way to the story later on? Um, is the eye in Golden Freddy? Um, I know um, you were speaking about this earlier, Ryan. You said it's just yeah. the way he's, he's re-rendered it. Maybe that's why yeah. we're seeing the eye now, because the locations mm -hmm. were dark before, but is yeah. that going to be significant in some way? I think there, there's, there's quite a few options for him to go with. I would I would like to see a complete timeline <laughs> so we know yeah. exactly yeah. where everything is. I think yeah. that would be a nice way to, to finish it off. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. we, don't need to yeah. Know, we don't need to know everything about it. <laughs> Because yeah. yeah. the best things usually are left a mystery, like yeah, yeah, you know, like, like Pulp Fiction. Like everybody's wondering yeah. what's what's going on there, and and it's 
Mystery in the briefcase, mis- yeah. yeah. Mis- mis- yeah. Mystery is good, so maybe he's done a, a, like a similar thing that <laughs> some things are best left secret for now. But yeah, it, it, do- it does sound like he's hinting towards there's going to be something yeah. important in that box, but it might simply yeah. just be a complete timeline written on a bit of paper in yeah. that box. Yeah, um, yeah. A lot of people are suggesting as well spin off game because that isn't yes. that's yes, not a prequel, yes. that's not a sequel, that's not adding to Five Nights at Freddy's Four, and it's not Five Nights at Freddy's mm-hmm. Five. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're the things he said it's definitely not. So a spin off game. Which would that would that would that be completely fine as long yeah, as he, yeah. it, I, I, I'm happy if he keeps making games because yeah, I, I yeah. like it. I like his horror stuff. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and let's not forget about the film as well. Like yeah, the yeah, films, yeah. the film seems to be really hyped about, but some people just seem to be forgetting the fact that there could be some hints by uh, uh, Gil because uh, on Twitter he was hinting yeah. a lot of things about the movie, and I think that will keep yes, a bit yeah. of hype for Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, no, yeah, still, yeah, yeah, definitely, because yeah. he seems to be quite a teasing guy, and maybe he's inspired by Scott's teasers, and yeah, that he yeah. might do some teasers for the film. He's definitely be been hitting yeah. loads yeah. of things. Yes, yeah. He loves his he yeah. loves his emoticons. Like yeah, knives, yes. maybe, yeah. knives um, and children <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> maybe the um, movie will actually I don't know. Maybe the movie will finish the story. Mm. Maybe if I've you know been what I mean. like, I've been thinking that. Yeah, but I think I think the niche with the movie is that it kind of has to also cater towards not necessarily People fans of the franchise. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly, movie, yeah. exactly. So it's it's one of those things, and it's hard to kind of decipher. But um, you know, with Scott's previous development as well, he's had some amazing games that really no one's seen entirely, mm-hmm. and. It's like yeah. Desolate Hope. I think when yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's came out, a lot of people went back and played that. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. they found that quite enjoyable. But yeah. so we know Scott can do a lot of those things. So, and, you know, what would you guys like to see personally from him then? Like a horror based game? Is that the sort of. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Scott, and honestly, Scott has shown that he is the king of horror because, mm. like, I think the first ever Five Nights at Freddy's was the one that really gripped everyone because yeah. it's yeah. the suspense of knowing is something around in that door, is something yeah, yeah. about to get me, is Foxy there? I don't know, he likes to create the suspense and I think that is crucial when you're making a horror game and I think yeah. that he really yeah. does know how to capture yeah, that does. kind of it was a yeah. of horror. Especially in the fourth game because he added the, the, yeah, the, it was literally like a, a, an audio mechanic. You had to listen <laughs> yeah. for the breathing, you had to listen for the footsteps, you had to listen for so many different things. You could hear the freddles behind you and scurrying about and stuff yeah. that made it scarier again because yeah. you really had to pay attention to what was going on and yeah, yeah. just utter silence until you heard breathing <laughs> yeah. it's, it, it's, I mean, yeah. it's terrifying and that's what like I've played Outlast and stuff like that it is the, it's not the constant jump scares that gets you it's the, it's the fear of knowing something's going to be coming you can hear yeah, yeah. something exactly. and you're just like I, I don't know when it's going to come and, and he seems to have mastered that in Five Nights at Freddy's yeah. 4 so yeah. if he can take that and even if it's not a spin-off game if he can yeah. carry on doing horror games mm-hmm. then I'll, I'll, I'll play the hell out of them yeah I think, yeah. I think he's got a lot, a lot of supporters now as well oh, yeah, I yeah, know yeah. For a oh, fact okay. that we're all going to be playing Scott's, yeah. uh, mate. If Excellent. he wants to do a horror game, which isn't mm-hmm. FNAF, we're all here to support him. And I know yeah. a lot of people will still support him, whatever he wants to do. So, yeah, if he wants to go for another horror game, he knows he can do it. I mean, Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the biggest horror games I've ever witnessed, and a lot of people have as well. I mean, a yeah, horror yeah. indie game has got yeah, a film yeah. coming, a film, yeah, yeah. and yeah, it just yeah. shows how, how, how much it's grown over the past year. It's insane. Yeah, Slenderman yeah. didn't even achieve that feat, and that was a yeah, huge thing back in the exactly. day. Exactly. Um, I, th- I think what's made this series so spectacular is the fact that for, for an indie game, it's managed to kind of yeah. almost deliver this deep story that kind of AAA games can deliver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, you know, the fact that we can spend so much time theorizing over this stuff. I know. Um, it's just, it's quite amazing when you think one guy kind of wrote this story and oh, definitely. planned absolutely everything that goes into this game as a whole. So there we have it guys that was once again another episode of Theory Thursday for you all. We hope you did enjoy this episode of course. If you didn't know already folks we are all doing a Five Nights at Freddy's Skydive for the St. Jude charity the 24th of September. Now the link of the uh, donation page if you want to donate we've already raised uh, over $20,000 Scott himself amazing donated uh, $19,870 ridiculous ridiculous (laughs) which was absolutely insane but we still want to get there we've got another month well basically two months uh, for for Mm. us to raise some more money and it's going to be great so yeah yes guys and of course we hope you did enjoy this video and also check down below in the description for a link to that donation page if you are feeling generous yeah if you guys did enjoy this video though be sure to give it a like rating on all of our channels and if you're new to any of us 
why not subscribe for more interesting videos like this and also some gameplays. So thank you very much for watching the video, guys. We hope you did enjoy. And we'll, of course, see you on the next one on all of our channels. Bye! Bye, guys! Bye-bye. <laughs>